16 U Greco Nationals again. Uh, you know, once is great, but you came back and took it again. Talk a little bit about uh, the challenge of, you know, coming back and, and doing this with everybody knowing who you are. Yeah, you know, um, uh, last year I told uh, the person who was interviewing me that I was coming back for double gold. Unfortunately, it did not happen. I only took third in freestyle, but so I had to come back and, uh, I found that I've always, I always need to believe in myself, something I've been missing for, for, for a while. And so I think at this tournament, it gave me the gift of truly believing myself to the deepest possibility. So I'm standing five feet away from another Colorado kid who just won the juniors. And we're hearing a lot of, a lot of Colorado athletes do well in the Greco. Uh, talk a little bit about why that's going on. I, I know you're excellent. At, you're good at freestyle folk style too, but what's it about Greco and the, and the kids in, in Colorado? You know, um, Colorado, um, all of the kids, almost everyone in Colorado is training freestyle in Greco. Uh, religiously every summer. So it's um, Greco is a lot of kids' ability to shine in uh, areas and kind of like it focuses on other areas that freestyle is kind of not focusing on. So I think Colorado, we have better men elite, we have Black Fox, we have the newly established top team. And you know, all of these three uh, clubs, you know, they're really pushing Greco. And so I believe that Colorado is. Um, it's really gonna. It's really a gifted state, and uh, and uh, how creative we all can be. So, what what kind of goals have you got moving forward? I, I mean, world teams are something in your mind, right? Yes, sir, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a world champ next year. Um, so first, I have to make the team in America in the U.S. Open. So my next goals are really training for the U.S. Open next year, and uh, and uh, you know, trying to trying to dominate. Who do you want to thank this this tournament? There's always a lot of people in your corner and helping support yeah. you, but you know, it's, here's an opportunity to reach out. For some um, first off, has to be my dad, Thomas Fevet the Third. He's my biggest supporter, my biggest fan. Uh, he's just he's such a great dad and such a great role model. He works so hard and he really just gives me something to live up to and to. I hope, and I hope I can be as good of a dad and mentor and person that he is. I also want to thank my coaches, uh, Joe Warren, Luke Morris, uh, Lisa Bowling, uh, his dad and his son, um, and they were on top team, and uh, Jerome Beats, my uh, head coach at high school. Everyone, you know, I, I have so much support. It's really, it's really a blessing. So. Well, hey, excellent job out there. We enjoy watching you wrestle. And thank you, sir. Look forward to what's coming up next. I appreciate Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Thank you.